focusing on one technology in particular that has gotten a big boost from the pandemic, but not without controversy, bipolar ionization. Um, what, what is your assessment of bipolar ionization as a technology for indoor air quality generally, and then specifically for uh, pathogens? I think the bipolar ionization is a really good solution for offering, um, I would say, a low level of protection against airborne viruses. You're not getting, despite the fact that you might see 99 0.99% on an ionizer system, it's not going to be the same as passing it through a HEPA. You're not getting that single pass efficacy. Um, there's lots of testing showing really good promise for ionization systems. It's just so difficult to test them because it's not like a filter. With a filter, you've got dirty air on one side and you clean air on the other side. Ionization systems or any um, system that relies on creating something which then cleans the air afterwards the the action happens in the space so it's much more difficult to um to demonstrate that it works uh, leeds university have done a lot of testing on ionization going back um a, a period of time and they got some very good results for 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 bacteria um, a lot of um japanese and korean companies have done a lot of testing on ionization and variations of that and they've seen very good um, results um, I think one of the other problems is that it, it's treated like a tick box exercise. Oh, I've got an HVAC system. I fitted a bipolar ionization system. Um, people who've been working with these, uh, there's a company called Tyra in, um, in Spain. They've been working with ionization systems for a couple of decades. So they can make those systems work really well and, uh, and they know how to use them. But um, a lot of companies are just treating it like a tick box exercise. They're selling something that's that's got 99% COVID reduction rate, um, but it's potentially going into the wrong uh, into the wrong system. There are a lot of people who are new to these technologies, um, and people are putting their trust in them that they know what they're talking about. So, um, yeah, when you're when you're when you're dealing with a company, look at how long they've been doing these. Um, doing these technologies or just been in this industry. And if if they set their business up just before Christmas, you probably shouldn't be dealing with them.